Hello there, everyone. If you're watching this video, then you are part of the TTOR army, an army that is building itself up one subscriber at a time. And as you can see from the title and thumbnail of today's video, today we're going to be talking about an atheist user on Twitter who instantly backed down from my challenge to come on to God TV radio and prove me wrong on evolution and abiogenesis after he spent quite a bit of time attacking me and calling me a moron and telling me how stupid and dishonest I am and basically painting the picture that he's this knowledgeable, intelligent, atheist evolutionist and who doesn't who knows everything about evolution and I'm just this dumb creationist who doesn't know anything about evolution and abiogenesis and that I misuse or misquote or misconstrue Wikipedia articles to go after the concept of evolution in abiogenesis. Now, before we get into the actual conversation I had with this user, let's look at his Twitter account because you can see some very telling things right away. So the user in particular is called Godfather, as in cannon fodder, but instead of can fodder, Godfather. Uh, he identifies himself in his profile as a skeptic, meaning like an atheist skeptic, a liberal, pro-choice, so he's all for murdering babies, BLM, so he's a BLM ally, if not a BLM activist, so he's all for rioting and looting and burning cities to the ground, and he's an ally, which could refer to being a BLM ally, it could also refer to being an ally to the LGBTQ plus rainbow community. So just by looking at his profile, we have a pretty good idea of what this guy believes and and how deranged he is. And boy, he did not let me down. But let's get into the actual conversation I had with him. So I recently shared a video called Atheists Are Gaslighted Into Believing They Are Too Stupid to Look Into Evolution for Themselves, which was just a compilation of clips that I took from one of my live streams and from uh, a video that Emma Thorne and Atheist Jr. did together. And this is what Mr. Godfather had to say on Twitter after he commented on the video itself on YouTube. This is complete garbage. You guys are doing the gaslighting. Information on evolution is readily available to anyone interested enough. Not being an expert isn't a reason to question an entire field of science over a worldview. Come on, ask an atheist that knows. Face palm. Now, keep in mind that last thing he said, ask an atheist that knows. Clearly, Mr. Godfather is portraying himself as an atheist that knows. That'll be important later. The Godfather continues, The whole reason people say that is because creationists keep lying about evolution and literally are gaslighting people because they don't grasp any of it and get all their information on science from preachers and apologist liars. This is pure projection. Yeah, and just about every atheist on the internet gets their information on creationism from skeptics and atheist evolutionist content creators, and they rarely ever go to the creationists themselves to get their information on creationism. So apparently it's okay when you guys do that, Godfather, but if Christians like me were to theoretically do that, well, that would be bad. I responded to Godfather by pointing out, We understand the evolution paradigm of history perfectly fine. It's fatally flawed on multiple levels, and it is no more provable by science than young earth creationism is. Godfather responded to me by saying, That's a complete lie. Evolution is a scientific theory. Might want to look up that term because you don't have a clue. You're telling me that young earth creationism has this much evidence? Laughing emojis. And then he gives me a link to talkorigins.org and an article where 29 evidences of macroevolution are presented. Of course, we're not talking about evolution as a scientific theory. I was talking about the evolution paradigm of history. What's the paradigm of history that it teaches that you're trying to use science to justify? That's what I'm talking about. And this guy doesn't even want to touch that with a 10-foot pole because he'll go places he doesn't want. 
Then he decided to quote tweet me and he said, You heard it here first. Evolution experts are just gaslighting because everybody can't be an expert. But young earth creationism is just as valid as science because some people don't understand it and can't read a scientific research paper. So I responded to Godfather's quote tweet by saying, I have serious doubts that you've ever read a scientific research paper or even understand science. You're probably one of those people who listened to Forbes when they told you to stop doing your own research into scientific topics. And then I provide a link to a video I did a couple years ago where I responded to Forbes and an article they put out in late 2020, early 2021, where they literally instructed people to stop doing their own research into scientific topics and just trust what the experts say. And their reasoning is that essentially we're just too stupid to do our own research into topics and we should therefore just trust what the experts say. Godfather said in response to that, bro, you claimed that evolution is just as speculative as young earth creationism, and that's demonstrably false. It seems you have never read a scientific paper in your life. Science is a method, lol. At referencing Forbes, I don't go by what the media says. I look it up myself. And then he says... Uh, that's why I said you should have an atheist on your show that does understand evolution. A few atheists not being evolutionary experts doesn't make it any less factual or scientific. And in response to him saying that I should have an atheist on my show that does understand evolution, I pointed out to him, I literally had an atheist on my show on December 31st, 2022, who did claim to understand evolution, and he got very uncomfortable very quickly when he was exposed to Wikipedia saying that abiogenesis is part of the evolution process. So Godfather said in response to that, you tried to use Wikipedia and pretended that it improves a biogenesis is part of evolution, laughing emojis. The theists need to stop the dishonest catchphrase hunting and actually refute the evolutionary evidence, but sadly they can't, so they project this lie. Now see, I'm confused here, Godfather. You laugh at me for appealing to Wikipedia as a valid source of information on a scientific topic, but I was told by the New York Times back in February of 2021 in an article they wrote called Don't Go Down the Rabbit Hole, I was not only told to stop using critical thinking skills because critical thinking isn't helping in the fight against misinformation, but deep in the article, in this uh, three-paragraph spurt here that you can pause the screen and read for yourself, they also instructed me to just trust what Wikipedia says. They say, well, don't use Wikipedia for research papers, but if you're just trying to figure out if what you're being told on a about a conspiracy theory or a scientific topic is true or not, just reference Wikipedia and you'll figure out really quickly if you're being told the truth or not by a dissident. So the New York Times themselves literally told me to believe whatever Wikipedia says, and yet whenever I believe what Wikipedia says about abiogenesis, you laugh at me. I'm so confused. The mainstream is telling me to believe what Wikipedia says, so why are you laughing at me for believing what Wikipedia says? But I decided to respond to him in a different way. I pointed out, Atheist Jr. quoted and referred to the abiogenesis page on Wikipedia when he and Emma Thorne were responding to Kent Hovind in a video. So apparently it's okay for atheists to quote the abiogenesis article on Wikipedia, but it's wrong for Christians to do the same thing. Very much true. And I noticed that Mr. Godfather has yet to respond to this tweet of mine, so obviously I just hit a nerve with him and he can't respond immediately to what I said. But I decided to do something a lot better because you see... I suspect that Mr. Godfather is a coward who's not willing to actually put his money where his mouth is and try to prove me wrong on abiogenesis and evolution in a live stream. So I said to Mr. Godfather in response to his, que his tweet that I should have an atheist on my show that does understand evolution. I said to him, 
Since you claim to understand evolution and claim to do your own research, maybe you'd like to come on to God TV radio and attempt to educate us on evolution better than Mark Reed did. I'd be more than willing to bring you onto the show and give you a chance. And Mr. Godfather said, why? So you can try to refute me by disingenuously quoting Wikipedia instead of the evidence itself? And I responded to Mr. Godfather by pointing out, I figured you would relish coming onto my show and setting me straight on evolution and abiogenesis. After all, I'm just a dumb creationist, so it should be an easy win for you that gets broadcasted to the world. It would be a good resume builder for you. And Mr. Godfather has yet to respond to that tweet. So Mr. Godfather criticizes me for not having atheists on my live streams and videos that are knowledgeable and understand evolution. And, and he portrays himself as being such an evolutionist slash atheist. And yet when I invited Mr. Godfather to come onto my show to basically set the record straight on evolution and abiogenesis and prove me wrong... He instantly backs out like the coward that he is. Just an instant back out. And that's pretty par for the course when it comes to atheists and evolutionists on the internet. They talk a big game and they're willing to personally attack and defame and throw all kinds of ad hominems at Christians and young earth creationists like myself. They have no problem accusing us of being a bunch of stupid morons who don't understand evolution and abiogenesis. And they portray themselves as being knowledgeable on those topics. But then when I challenge them or when any Christian or creationist challenges them to actually, hey, step into the spotlight with me and have a conversation about the said evidence. Prove me wrong in front of the entire world. They instantly back out. Because they're cowards, and they're not actually that confident about their worldview. People like Godfather are just a bunch of dumb, stupid, mindless sheeple who blindly believe whatever the ruling establishment authorities tell them and whatever their favorite atheist YouTubers tell them, and they don't exercise any critical thinking skills. They don't look into things for themselves. They don't read scientific papers or research papers. They don't do any of the things that they claim that creationists like me don't do. They are the very person that they accuse us of being. And when they get exposed for that, they wilt under the pressure. They wilt under the spotlight. They can't handle being called out for being the losers that they are. Now, it is my hope that Mr. Godfather here will not be a loser for the rest of his life, however long that is. I actually hope and pray that he will come to a saving knowledge of Jesus and that he will enter into a personal relationship with him and that he will become an adherent to the biblical worldview. I actually do hope that for him because I don't want him to remain as he is, being a mindless follower who just blindly believes whatever his authority figures that he follows tells him to believe and then attacking people like me for not doing the same thing. So after I filmed the first part of this video and I walked away to get some lunch, I came back and I discovered that old Godfather left some more responses to me on Twitter. So in response to my tweet where I referred to Atheist Jr. quoting and referring to the Abiogenesis page on Wikipedia when him and Emma Thorne were responding to Kent Hovind in a video, in response to that, Godfather says, What's wrong is saying that abiogenesis is part of the theory of evolution, and I guarantee that page doesn't say that, and neither do any of the origins chemists. Usually when atheists quote wiki, it's because a theist is completely ignorant of the basics, and it checks out here. So Mr. Godfather not only claims that the Wikipedia page for abiogenesis doesn't say that abiogenesis is part of evolution, he guarantees it. Well, let's do something really simple for you here, Godfather. Let's go to Wikipedia. Dot com. Is it dot com? Nah, I'll just type in Wikipedia here in Google. All right, it's dot org. Okay. Now, let's type in abiogenesis. Ah, so according to the short description here, abiogenesis is a natural process by which life arises from non-living matter. 
we go to the actual Wikipedia page for abiogenesis, and in paragraph one, it says, In biology, abiogenesis, or the origin of life, is the natural process by which life has arisen from non-living matter such as simple organic compounds. The prevailing scientific hypothesis is that the transition from non-living to living entities on Earth was not a single event, but an evolutionary process of increasing complexity that involved the formation of a habitable planet, the prebiotic synthesis of organic molecules, molecular self-replication, self-assembly, autocatalysis, and the emergence of cell membranes. Many proposals have been made for different stages of the process. So according to the very first paragraph of the Wikipedia article for abiogenesis, it says that abiogenesis is an evolutionary process. Now, evolution, as you know, Godfather, is not just one simple event. It's a whole bunch of events. It's a complicated, convoluted process that happened over a long period of time. And so because it's convoluted and complicated, there are many components to evolution. One of those components, according to Wikipedia, is abiogenesis. You claim that the Wikipedia page does not say that abiogenesis is part of the theory of evolution, and yet when we go to the abiogenesis Wikipedia page, it says in the very first paragraph that abiogenesis is an evolutionary process. If it's an evolutionary process, that means it's part of evolution. And for you to sit here and say that it's not means that either you're a gullible fool who doesn't know what abiogenesis actually is, or you're a deceptive liar who doesn't want people to realize that the young earth creationist is right about abiogenesis being part of evolution, so you will deny to your dying breath that abiogenesis is part of evolution, even though Wikipedia here says that it is. Now, the other two tweets that Godfather made in response to me was in response to my tweet where I told him that he should relish coming onto my show and be viewing it as an automatic win for him if he does, and that it would be a good resume builder. And what does Godfather say in response? Why would you need an atheist to come on your show when you could just look up the research? It's not hard to do the very basic minimum of research to learn about something before attacking it and trying to compare it to theology. I also don't join creationists on YouTube because you guys are simply not honest as I have demonstrated. Please tell me a single evolutionary mechanism that applies to abiogenesis. Can you do it without strawmanning it? Nope. So basically the reason Godfather gives for why he won't come on to uh, God TV radio with me after claiming that the atheists I have on don't know what they're talking about. The reason why he won't do it is because, well, you see, you're just such a dishonest liar, Justin, that I refuse to be in the same live stream as you. Even though I'm telling you you're an idiot and that I'm super knowledgeable and that I can prove, whereas your previous evolutionist uh, guests couldn't, that abiogenesis is not part of evolution. Yeah, you don't want to come onto my show because I'm just such a horrible person. Well, if you go to the live stream I did with Godless Girl a couple weeks ago, you will find, Godfather, that when Mark Reed got the chance to talk about abiogenesis and evolution, he got to talk uninterrupted for a very long time and for long chunks at a time. He got to say everything that he wanted to say, and it was when he got cross-examined that he started to falter and fall apart. You would get the same chance that Mark Reed did, Godfather. You come onto God TV Radio, you will get a long period of interrupted time, or as long as you need, to explain why abiogenesis is not part of evolution, even though the Wikipedia page, which represents the consensus of the academic community, says that it is you would get uninterrupted time to explain why it's not. So why don't you take up the offer? Well, I know why you're not taking up the offer. One, you're a complete and utter coward who is afraid of having to actually defend your worldview in front of the entire world. And two, if you have ever seen any of my content before, one of my favorite things to do to refute evolutionists who come onto my live streams is to let them talk uninterrupted. You see, if you talk 
uninterrupted for a long period of time and you face just a little bit of cross-examination, your entire argument and case is going to fall apart very quickly because your worldview is based on a foundation of shifting sand. You have nothing solid to stand upon. There is no evidence supporting your worldview. So if you come onto my show, you're going to get all the time you want to explain your case for why abiogenesis isn't part of evolution. But as soon as we start cross-examining you, you're going to fall apart. Your whole case is going to fall apart. And you're not going to have very good reactions to our questions because you can't handle the questions. That's what's going to happen. But... If you'd like to prove me wrong, if you'd like to prove that not only do you have a rock-solid case for abiogenesis not being part of evolution, but you also want to prove that you are not going to wilt and fall apart under cross-examination, you are more than welcome to come onto God TV Radio, and we will set up a stream where you come in, and it will just be you and me talking about this, and... Later on, after you've had your chance to make your case and we've had a little bit of a back and forth, you can have a chance to interact with other people, which would include your fellow evolutionists and atheists. Because I have no doubt that one or two of them would come onto the show at that point. And you'd have some backup against this mean old young earth creationist like me. So I await your word, Godfather. Let me know if you are interested in actually defending your case on a live show in front of the entire world. Let me know when you're ready to do that because I am more than willing to have you on. I'm more than willing to give you all the time you want to make your case for why abiogenesis is not part of evolution. If I'm so stupid and you're so right and it's so obvious that I'm wrong, this should be an easy win for you to come onto the show and prove your case. It should be absolutely easy.